This problem is asking us to solve the inequality and graph the solution on a number line. So first, when I have an inequality like this, I would start by distributing um, a number outside the parentheses. So this would be 3x minus 7 is greater than or equal to we'll distribute the 8 to the x to make 8x and distribute the 8 to the 2 to make 16. From here, we really just want to solve this like we would solve any equation by moving all of the x terms together and all the constant terms together. So let's subtract 8x on both sides to move it to the left hand side. I usually like to put all the variables on the left and all the constants on the right. But you don't necessarily have to, but that's what I like to do. So 8x minus 8x cancels out. And 3 minus 8 is negative 5, so that makes negative 5x minus 7 is greater than or equal to 16. Now if we move our constant term to the right, we would add 7 to both sides for the negative 7 and the plus 7 to cancel out, leaving us with negative 5x is greater than or equal to 16 plus 7 is 23. And now here is where we have a step that's a little bit different than an, when you have just an equation with an equal sign. We want to move the negative 5 over to the other side because all we want left on the left hand side is x. So if we divide both sides by negative 5, the rule is, is that if you have an inequality and you're dividing both sides by a negative number, you want to flip that inequality. So that'll make x, and instead of being facing, pointing towards the right, it'll point towards the left. So instead of being greater than, it'll be less than. x is less than or equal to, and 23 doesn't divide evenly by 5, so we can leave that as negative 23 over 5. So we've solved the inequality. This would be the solution. The second part of the question asks us to graph the solution on a number line. So let me draw a little number line. And we can mark our number as being wherever we want it to be, put it right here in the middle if we want. And the idea is that smaller numbers are towards the left, like going towards negative infinity, larger numbers are towards the right. So like this side would be towards negative infinity, this side would be towards positive infinity. So if we want num x to be less than negative 23 over 5, we will shade towards the left-hand side because those are numbers that are less than. So we can put, oh, another thing is, is that there's this equal to means we're going to use a closed dot and not an open circle. So we use, let me do this in a different color. We're going to do a closed dot. And because we want the numbers less than, we'll go towards numbers that are smaller than negative 23 over 5. Another way to think about it is that the left hand, excuse me, the less than arrow kind of looks like an arrow pointing towards the left, and so does this side is like pointing towards the left. So that's one way that you can think about it if you have a hard time determining which way to make the arrow point towards. Okay, and that is graphing the solution on the number line. So again, if there's a equal to, then you want a closed dot. If it was not equal to, if it was just less than, then it would be an open circle. And that's really the main difference there. Alrighty, so I hope this step-by-step -step video was um, helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and share with anybody you think might find this information useful. Also, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos that are similar to this one. Um, they're not super edited, but I try to get as much information out to people as, they, as I can of um, helping people with their homework. So thanks for watching.